and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today I'm going to be going over an insane Market Crash Part 2 as well as kind of what you want to be doing with your cards right now because guys, the market's going to get even worse because quite a few things still are coming out in the game that should make this market even worse. So, I made a video going over this kind of a while ago, at least hinting at it, the Madden Doomsday per se, of what would happen when golden tickets, then Easter promo, then Easter eggs, and everything else started happening. I warned you of this, but guys, this is not the end. This is just the beginning of things going down. If I were you guys, I'd wait till later tonight until some cards came up a little bit, and maybe it'd be around time to start selling some things that you could get some value back on. Like Mahomes went back up to 600k, so if you know if you don't want Mahomes, maybe now would be the time to sell him. Nitro and Ling went back up to like 500. If you don't want him, maybe now would be the time to sell him. We're gonna go through all the prices, of course. But guys, we still have plenty more stuff that I'll go in depth on pretty soon. We do have the draft promo, of course, which we don't know when that's coming, but it should be coming. We as well have the Easter eggs and Ultimate Legends. Ultimate Legends tomorrow should kill the further value of Ultimate Legends on the block. People will open packs, especially if they drop like a Lawrence Taylor, a Sean Taylor, or anyone up that alley because we are kind of due for one of those um, banger frost Ultimate Legends. As you know, EA has been dropping the worst Ultimate Legends in the initial drops. Not the worst ones, but the guys that people don't want as much. We've not gotten any of like really the meta ones for the most part. So... We should be coming up on those. So if we do get one of those, that should kill the value of a lot of Ultimate Legends on the block, as well as spam the market with some Ultimate Legend pack players. And as well as this Sunday, the Easter eggs will be opening. Now guys, I don't get that many eggs to show you, but I know plenty of people do. So if we go over to the Easter eggs real quick and I show you guys kind of what I got working with here. And this is just me. This is someone who barely did that many, who barely has enough of what we need to look at. And even I have gotten enough. So going ahead and get a decent thing. So I got a grand egg, gold, small egg, medium egg, small egg, small egg, small egg, small egg, medium egg. Now let's just say, these are some packs, some training, and then that's uh, an old legend pack. If everyone who gets bare minimum, like me, like this one, gets even close to that, the market will crash. Not to mention there's people with like 100 eggs, 150 eggs, 10 grand eggs. Guys, just like Christmas presents, when they, when they drop... Whatever comes out of those things will be insanely cheap. Now, the thing with this is, though, these aren't going to be specific players. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But let's say Grand, everyone has one of these. Grand Eggs, um, Gold, Ultimate Legend Pack. Oh, everyone's going to get Ultimate Legend Pack. People are going to have, like, five of those. Guys, it could get pretty glitchy real fast with how bad the market's going to be impacted by this. So, just to give you guys some examples, like, if Ultimate Legend Packs are one of the things that you can get from these, or if that's a Team of the Year player, because I did read that that could be a Team of the Year player. If that's a Team of the Year player, guys, Team of the Year player is going to take a huge hit. So, like, let's say your Team of the Year player went for 240. He's now going to go for, like, 190. Aaron Donald went for three, uh, 280. He might go for 260, 250. Like, things are going to go down significantly. Now, 30K might not seem like a lot, but that's just my initial thoughts. I mean, like, it could be a lot worse, because Aaron Donald's one of the more rare ones. So I don't think he'll be knocked out too much, because that could just be a specialist one, or it could be any. It really just depends. But, guys, before we get into the rest of this video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And comment down below if you guys have any questions or anything to add to those egg predictions I kind of just gave you there. But coming over to the 98 to 99s. Running off yesterday, guys, the market is still crashing worse. 197 for Ed Reed. The worst mark crash in mud history, in my opinion, still continues. Ed Reed went from 330 to 197, guys. Things are damn near getting near a half to a third off price point at this point. Like, he lost 100K. Like, he's a, he's a third off. And he actually lost, like, 140K. So, he's really getting close to, like, half off at this point. But guys, it's getting pretty, pretty ridiculous at this point. Uh, Ted Hendricks recovered a little bit to 240. He was a little bit lower. Lane near 223. Guys, things are so cheap around McDen. You could build a all 99 overall team right now for pretty cheap with chems. Like, it's not bad. You can pick up like five of these guys for under a million coins right now. And if you pick up Ed Reed for 200, Barry Sanders for 200, leaves you 600k still left over. You pick up Lanier, you probably go over a million coins and end up with 599 overall players, which really isn't that bad. Byron Jones recovered a little bit. The free agency cards recovered just a little bit. Tom Brady, not so much. But the free agency cards had less impact, guys. Like, they weren't... Here's the thing. Some players go down because there's more of them. Other players goes down because people want to sell them for coins. So let's explain the, the, the logic of that. Golden tickets come out. I want to open packs of golden tickets. I start spam selling our... We start selling things on our teams to get coins. So some people sell their Byron Jones and their J. Brown Clowney. Why? Just make quick coins. Are they worth that price? No. They're, they're, they're undervalued right now. But people need coins, so he was going cheap. Then the next day, people don't need coins anymore because everyone went on their crazy pack openings. Byron Jones isn't something that could be pulled from crazy pack openings, only from the sets. Thus, Byron Jones and Clowney come right back up once the demand for him goes back to normal. And people stop spam selling him. Now, 
Ultimate Legend cards. Spam sold yesterday because people want coins. Now, why today did they stay down and actually go down more? Because they were able to be pulled. So people were selling them for cheap on top of the fact people were spamming packs and pulling them, which lets just an over, over, over supplied and less demand. And now they're just super cheap. Now the Easter ones, why did these go down? Because people are pulling a lot of the Easter players right now. So it makes their sets cheaper. But the thing is you can't, they're not really pulling those for agency things. But that pretty much, that's pretty much the logic behind that. Next night, trailing 480, getting close to 500. I really like, I think like these guys, like him and Mahomes. Mahomes only keeps going back up because he's still like one of the best quarterbacks. And he gets a quick sub value of about 500k. I believe, I don't know if this, these like don't because people sell them. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, him and him and Lamar wouldn't be horrible sells in the near future. But I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not going to sell my Mahomes. My Mahomes is a quick sell anyways. But Lamar might not be the worst sell because his, his golden ticket's coming. If anything, sell him and then when the new golden ticket comes out, he might come down a little bit in price. Or, or vice versa, people might realize, oh, I'm never going to be able to get that golden ticket Lamar. Let's just cash out this redux. It swings both ways, guys. And those golden tickets are going to be untouchable for quite a while. Oh, quite a while. Like, Michael Vick, like, I don't even know if I'll ever build to buy one of these. I mean, had I saved my million coins from the pack opening, maybe. But, moving on down, guys. Going to the 97, so not 96, 97. So, show you guys the team of the week card, or not team of the week, team of the year cards. What could potentially change here if those are team of the year players? I've been telling you guys the team of the years have remained kind of untouched value-wise. Like, these are great values right now. George Kittle for 116. Like these came down hard. Like I'm gonna have to actually buy that because George Kittle, that's a great price at 116. Great second tight end. But look at all these team of the year cards. Guys, if they announce or they do release the eggs and that is a free team of the year player and it is these guys, these guys will drop to 80s, 90k. These guys will be some of the best values in Madden right now. Considering like guys like Russell Wilson, if you power Kevin him up, he's 99 overall. So you can potentially get a 99 overall quarterback for 148k plus his power up and training stuff you gotta get done. But you know what she's passes for Zach Martin, super cheap. Aaron Donald's the only guy who's still retaining value at 235. And since yesterday, he's went down even more because, like I said, he was like 280. But you can build a whole team of the year team right now if you power them all up. They're all 97s, chemmed up, probably get them to 98s, and then the 97 ones you can get to 99. And very simple stuff. And another another great value right now is if you do Luke Keekley, who is approximately it's looking like around 127 you could power him up and once you power him up he gets nfl honors and then you get him, well no you get his nfl uh tribute card so you wound up getting him to like a 98 99 overall pretty easily actually with him and same thing with calais campbell wherever he is he is the same exact uh, case so if you want to get either one of those two great values guys take advantage of these market crashes you could easily get two great players right now like uh keekly and calais campbell and get them up to their honors and their tribute card for rather cheap there's just so much potential right now guys i'm telling you let's see how much calais is going for I'm not seeing him now. Is he like a 95? That's weird. Now, I think Michael Thomas might fall into the same range as well, guys. So, you want to pick up Michael Thomas. Maybe people are picking them up because they know that. Or, oh, this class. 128. And I believe Michael Thomas is another similar case. So, take advantage of it, guys. Michael Thomas. You can literally get three players right now that all go up to like 98, 99 overalls for 168, 127, and 127. Such great values right now. Now, as far as the continuing crash, uh, I think the eggs are going to be a big damper on the market. So, things are cheap now. I'd wait till tonight or like tomorrow, uh, even after Ultimate Legends, see if anything comes down a little bit more. And if they do, go toss some things up on the block, make a little bit of coins back. If you, that's only if you want to sell, don't force sell. Like for me, I might have lost value in my team, but I never was going to sell them, so I don't care. But if you are actually planning to sell players, you want to get that done soon because the eggs this Sunday, there's going to be everything. There's going to be probably Team of the Year, Ultimate Legends, Legends, packs, training, coins. So there's going to be, it's going to cover every basis. And if there, if people did enough eggs, as I'm anticipating they did, there should be a pretty large crash coming. Yeah, and not like a crash like this one. Like this one was bad, but it will only further make this one worse than it already was, which is then a great time to buy. So like definitely stay tuned for the buy period because after that, the NFL draft, everything's going to be 99s after that. And I don't think it's like a crash where it goes like that and then stays there. I mean, it's not going to be like that and then come back up. So make sure you get your players at that price. I think it's going to be like this and then and then like that like it shouldn't keep going down it's not gonna really it shouldn't be dips after dips not gonna be coming up too much but yeah pretty much wraps up today's video guys just remember the eggs on sunday they're going to be opening makes don't be the guy that wakes up sunday morning like oh let me sell things real quick and it's gonna be done the eggs are gonna come out they're gonna hatch now how many eggs are hatching i don't know if they're all hatching the same day let me go check that out for you guys real quick but i do know they start sunday and it only can get worse from there i guess it depends on like, when each one does too so the, the April 12th, I, I find I have a feeling like they, they all do the same day. April 12th, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they all drop at the same time on the 12th, guys. It's over. It's going to be a large hit. And people love to sell these things instantly. So like if they're going to, let's say they drop a, uh, a 94 overall, 
card out of one of the large ones. 94 overall color smash card. That card's gonna be going for like 40k. 50k. So make sure you go buy that as soon as possible for training. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification boys. Comment down below. Hit that like button. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.